Good day. Welcome to King Williams Everything. Today we're looking at Ubuntu 17.10. All right, that's just for a second or so. We'll take a quick look. Um, I've been using Ubuntu for quite a long time, so whenever a new update comes out, I like to install it. And guess what this morning? 17.10 says, hey, I'm ready to be installed. So being wild and crazy, I decided I'm going to do it. i got to do this. And so I did it. And I'll kind of give you a little summation at the end, but uh, we're just going to take a couple little snapshots and kind of, you know, here's the installing, uh, here's some of the little features, uh, just kind of the visual things, nothing in depth, just a quickie. And at the end, I'll give a little summation of what my thoughts are so far. And it's only maybe an hour worth of use. So anyway, uh, here's kind of a, like a little picture of the install and doing the upgrade. You can use your PC while it's upgrading. That's cool. It took probably about three hours to do it. I don't know why. I think maybe just got it. It was on DSL line, but it was slow. But it was painless. A little disappointed at first with the the login screen, kind of bland. I can live with it. I can change it. Uh, not a big deal. But it booted up. Good sign. And kind of see my specs here. Um, what I have is uh, a Latitude E5410. So not the best one. It's probably four years old, five years old. So not uh, super high end laptop at a time it was a pretty good deal uh, so you can see at six gig of ram uh, until i core or intel core i5 so it's a 2.53 gigahertz times four so really nice very pretty decent specs uh, graphics of course are unknown gnome 3.2.3.26.1 and 64 bit of course and you can see the yeah, i got 160 gig hard drive in there and now if we take a look at after I logged in, you can see it looks fairly close, a little, uh, little prettier. Uh, the background looks good. Icons, you can see on the, on the left-hand side, the little taskbar there. Uh, it's, now it's kind of transparent. Little icons are a little smaller. Very nice. And here's like a little close-up of it. So you can kind of see uh, the transparency. The icons are a little nicer. Nice job, Ubuntu. Uh, nice to see them moving forward. Uh, some things are a little different. Some where you click on things. And you kind of see here in this video what we're doing. Uh, if you like the little, uh, little, it used to be in the top left hand corner and it would let you pop on. I don't know, does anybody even use that? I mean, it's a kind of an interesting feature, I guess, but I mean, it looks pretty. Um, can't say I've ever used it, but you know, if you like that, it's now on the bottom left hand corner. Not a big deal, but some people don't like change. Uh, me. And here's the lock screen, uh, somewhat blandish, kind of almost like, like a hidden skull or something. I'm not sure what that is, but. So that's kind of just a really quick uh, look at it. Um, so this is an upgrade from 17.04 to 17.10. So there's some uh, visual changes. Uh, one of the things I did notice is um, it's substantially slower. Uh, like Firefox takes forever to load, get to the internet. Uh, LibreOffice takes quite a long, long time to load. Uh, I mean, once you're in the application, it seems like it works fine. Just that initial, I don't know, and I've rebooted it several times. And actually, after I did the, in, the in, initial install, there were some more updates that required another reboot. Uh, it didn't seem like anything faster, anything better. But I'm sure there were some security updates. I didn't even look at it. But I am a little disappointed. Uh, the performance seems to have dropped substantially since it's just like a point release. You would think it would be fairly close. But it wasn't. Um, maybe over time it'll get a little faster, but I, I'm thinking, you know, if you had users that actually use this and you put that on their laptop or they, they were to install it and just having, you know, wait, something that would take, say, you know, LibreOffice 10 seconds, 15 seconds to load, now takes 30, 40 seconds to load, uh, that, that's a lot of time. And it's like, even with Firefox, when I initially clicked on it, it's like, well, what's going on here? It's just got a blank window, you know, it's like, and finally when it did launch, it's like, well, there's nothing here. And then it took forever, and I checked the internet, it was connected and everything, it just seems a lot slower. I don't know, maybe it was just me. Um, it's a fairly decent laptop, and it worked fine with the previous release. So, I don't know, I'm going to give it some time. Like I said, this is just, I, this today's I installed it, so I had very little time to play with it, so I figured I'd just take a couple pictures, a little video, and kind of show you my, my initial uh, uh, reaction to it. And, I mean, I'm kind of mixed, you know, the performance... Maybe it's just me, maybe other people had a better experience, but uh, I'm going to stick with it, give her another try, um, play with it a little bit more, and see if things get a little faster. Maybe there's, who knows, you know, maybe it takes a little while to do whatever it's got to do to straighten things out. But, you know, that's what it is. So I thought I'd share that with you, and I hope you have a great day.